Okay, what I'm about to share is pretty graphic, and so I'm not going to show the pictures, but if you want, you can check out the uh, blog entry on the uh, website today. You just go to the source right there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But as you can see, southern Mexican villagers beat and then set fire to an accused thief. Let me scroll down a little bit here. It says the scene took place in Villa Tumulte de las Sabanas, Tabasco, according to information released by the state's attorney general's office. It was in the early morning hours when neighbors claiming to be tired of thefts caught a man allegedly trying to steal a motorcycle. The shouting drew more residents to the mob, beating the suspected thief. It remains unclear who called for it, but the group doused their victim with gasoline and ignited the dying man as they shouted demands for justice. Now keep in mind, the majority of residents in that village are Roman Catholic. And as historic record proves, this is what Roman Catholicism breeds. Case in point, do you recall the Vatican's inquisitions wherein hundreds of millions of Christians were martyred for their faith during the prophesied 1,260-year first reign of terror by the popes of Rome, where they used very torturous means to kill their victims, including being burned alive as this man just was? This is why Roman Catholics are taught not to read or trust their Bibles. I know this for a fact because I was not only raised a devout Catholic, I taught Catholic doctrine right before I left the church. I mean, the popes of Rome know the Mexican people have been known all throughout history to have a strong zeal for the Lord. And they also know if those same people ever read their Bibles, they will not only discover that murdering people is a sure ticket to the flames of hell, the Bible also outlines in great detail that the popes of Rome have fulfilled every single prophecy regarding Antichrist, and that's why they don't want them reading Bibles. And when you don't read Bibles, burning people alive like this becomes the norm. And this is not the first time that Catholics have done this in Mexico. Matter of fact, I did a newsletter on that years ago. Pray that these precious people open their Bibles and get out of that fallen church before the plagues begin. And yes, this type of violence is to be expected today, for Satan is right now building his forces for the long prophesied day that most call Armageddon. Thank you for watching. God bless.